Today we're at the heart of London's East End in Wapping, situated between the north side of the Thames and the ancient thoroughfare simply known as the Highway. The maritime industry has been strongly represented here. You've got sailors, boat builders, mast makers, sail makers, all sorts of trades you associate with the sea have been located here. It was also the location for the execution dock, where pirates and other nautical ne'er-do-wells would find justice being executed down there in a gibbet constructed on the low watermark. The good old days, eh? I know it's going to be a place we're going to find some great things though, so let's get mudlarking. It's slim pickings on the foreshore so far, but Steve and I aren't alone today. As always, he's brought along his army of mud men in the shape of Woolwich John, husband and wife team GM and Steph, Stolly the dog, and Rock God, all of whom will hopefully help us dig up some booty. Okay, now Steve, uh, you haven't found this today. He has not found this today. This is a previous item he's found for legal reasons. I have to say that. Steve, tell us about this boot you found. It's fantastic. Well, this was found about a couple of weeks ago and came out of the mud about 500 yards from this. Okay. Now, it's Victorian, early Victorian. You know that, do you? Yeah, yeah. You I know you are a so-called expert, but I just want to know how much you're winging it. Well, <laughs> <laughs> quite a lot, really. Okay, fine. When you actually... Uh, it's old. It's yeah, old, it's yeah. Old. If, if you feel the quality of that leather... Yeah, it's stiff, isn't it? And then we go to the hobnails on the bottom. So, of course, it's telling us that is, of course, early Victorian. And this style very fashionable at the moment with the ladies. When this is not normally in the collection, yeah, my wife actually wears this out at night. <laughs> I bet she wears it at home. And, and she only has the one leg as well. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Kinky. Very kinky. One-legged antique boot fetishist. Fantastic. Yeah. But I like this because literally you're finding we're in the footprints of history down here. That's exactly what we're finding. So quite apt really for us, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. So sometimes, yeah, when you actually look at these soles, yeah. you can actually see footprints in there. Oh, man. So this, this makes it more personal. So you're after your gold coins, but it's boring. All right, it's a lousy old boot, but yeah. it's a personal item. Okay. Where you at, Jim? Where you at, Jim? Is that like an ancient oh, mud oh, what, have you had GM? Oh, I I, I saw... Do you like this? Where you at, Jim? Do you like this? Right. What you make of that? Oh, that is nice. Oh, so that's bro. really good, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, that's really nice. So go on, you are the so-called expert. Give us your so-called expertise. Well, I'm going to say on that, probably, I don't know, 17th, 18th. It's got an actual wooden inlay there that, of course, is breaking down. What sort of wood is that? Uh, <laughs> ebony. Is it ebony? Ah, the only wood that is heavier than water. Precisely. Actually, there's two. I can't remember the name of the other one. It's got, it's, it's, it's not a crucifix, just a plain cross. Well, I mean, it, it, oh, look at the holes on it. It would have yeah. been a crucifix, I would have thought. Okay. That's, that's really nice though, John, like that. Yeah, I'm well chuffed with it. And well, good, yeah. well, I also had what I thought was a trade token. Yeah, what is it's it? A, it's a Charles II Scottish farthing. Okay. So, so that's... still quite chuffed with that. It's quite, quite nice. Okay, so we know it's after about 1660. So this coin could have been around for the Great Fire and the plague. Mm. This coin would have been lurking around. In fact, it almost definitely would have been. And this also is a spitting image yeah, of a 17th century token, hence why John said, yeah. you know, as he yeah. had it up, he thought it was a 17th century token. But it's interesting to think, you know, aside from that, that you're holding something that could have been there through the Great Fire of London and the plague, and it ends up here today mm. in, in, in uh, Brooks's hand. GM's had a couple of fantastic finds, but the tide seems to be coming in...